right. I actually really like it that she says that now. Because <laughs> I, I know heard it. it. So then you know. Then I heard it. <laughs> um, Way back. Sarah, well, you. Sarah's using her, you're using your phone, shoot. Cause I was gonna say, or Lori, I was just gonna try to see if we could send some reminders, but. Do you want me to message anyone? Well, yeah, there was supposed to be like 14 people. So Tori, Tammy, Diana, Chrissy, Cindy, Randy Holcomb, Becky Essig, Jody Loveland. Hmm. Uh, Brandy, Brandy created a group that I could like put it's in the- Brandy Holcomb, not Brandy Hill or Cox. Right, but I could put it in the group saying that we had the thing like Tories in there and stuff. Yeah, go ahead, do that just to, just to see. So otherwise here, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and we're gonna start with recognition stuff first and then go on to the stuff from home office because that's pretty detailed. So here, I'm gonna collapse you guys. All right, so for July, we had one recruit and it was James McNeese. So Chastity recruited him. All right, so welcome to the team, James. So that put us at, I think it was, yeah, 33 recruits so far. So we really, I really want to see some big stuff happening this month with our incentive for a free kit. So I'm hoping that we can really get some momentum going. Um, um, we're gonna do um, the balance in the, the pot is $35 right now. So we'll do that or we'll ask if Chastity wants to, um, if she wants to keep the pot going or if she wants to cash it out. So we'll do that. And then um, let's go right to here. Actually, before I do that, we are just so I don't forget to tell you, um, cause Sarah, I know that you weren't on the North American leader call today. Oh, here comes Cindy. I'll stop a minute here. Did you just message some people then? Dom, me? Dom, did you? I put it on the thing. Okay, yeah. now I just had one person enter, so maybe I'll give it a second. I, I just messaged Cindy. Okay, okay, she just jumped in. Um, um, on Monday, Sarah, the Spotlight Training Call at noon, they're going to be introducing a it's going to be called a turbo recruiting challenge. And it's going to be a recruiting challenge that lasts for three days. And I want the whole team to participate in it. So we're going to learn about it on the ninth, And then the recruiting challenge is going to go the 10th, 11th, and the 12th. Um, so I don't, that's really all that I know about it, but be prepared for me to send the team out something about a recruiting challenge next week. So um, I'm excited about that because we've got, you know, the free kit right now is that's an amazing incentive. Plus there is all those other things. We'll talk about them tonight. That's going on when it comes to do with recruiting. All right. So, all right, well, we'll just go ahead. So, all right, let's go on to organization here. All right. So for July, our sales were as a whole organization, $39,000. $84 and 70 cents. And then we had one recruit, like I just got done saying. Um, so I'm going to make our August sales goal 35,000 because last year we were at 34,029.15. So with just coming off of the end of summer, I'm going to just go ahead and that's what I'm going to make it 35,000, but I am going to leave our recruiting goal at 15 because with this incentive this month, I think that we could really we could do this if we put our minds to it. And especially if we've got this turbo recruiting challenge, I'm hoping that we can get some blood out there, okay? So that is gonna be our goals for August. And then right now our year-to-date organizational sales are at $376,602.16. So we're doing really good as far as, um, you know, in the running to beat, you know, our last year's sales. That's always one thing that you guys want to look at. Um, if you're trying to um, 
set goals and try to challenge yourself a little bit is you always want to go back and look at what you, you know, your year, um, prior year comparison under consultant connection, look there and see where you were last month, you know, last August, where were you are and try to double your sales or at least increase them by some. That's what, that's one of those things that you should always be challenging yourself is trying to beat last year's numbers is always the big thing. So that's what I'm always kind of trying to do with our challenges too. Um, for the or our goals for the team, I should say. All right, so Sarah, go ahead for your team. Okay, okay. Let's see if I can move you here. Okay, so my top three uh, for sales for team soar were number three, um, Abby Pollock. She had eight fifty eight. Look at how close all these numbers were. I know. I thought that was crazy. That was crazy. Number two was Carly (laughs) Seabooth, and she's at 862.12. And number one, Miss Connie Hess. (laughs) Nice. (laughs) With the nightmare party. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, you got through it. You did great. You know, you're going to have things like that, and you just got to just keep moving forward. Don't let it deflate you. Just keep going. Why was, um, why was it a nightmare? She's having major sin share issues. And oh, I think I did see you asking about that. Oh my gosh. Good job of pushing through. Yes. Oh. She ended up doing Facebook scheduler and, and honestly, uh, I mean, we cannot figure it out. Yeah. I have looked at every single thing I've, her and I have huh. FaceTimed and she's made me admin on her parties. So I could go in and look and make sure everything is how it should be. Well, and hopefully, hopefully we won't have to deal with that that much longer. Right? Well, that's what I'm really hoping. I figure I'll still have to deal with it. But as of right now, since Cher has not gotten back to me, they're saying they're blaming it all on a glitch between since and Facebook. Which they that could an be. Yeah. And, yeah. But they still don't have any answers. So oh my gosh. it doesn't work. Weird. Yeah. And then I have to flip because I can't see. Okay, there we go. Oh. I couldn't see my whole screen. Okay, so um, we had no recruits. So I am going to put our August recruits for Team Store at six because, again, like Kelly said, this is an amazing time. Um, anybody that has been interested, you know, just even in some of those big power tools. They're in our deluxe kit now, and then they could get them for free. So it's just an amazing time to be reaching out. Um, and again, just, you know, remind people that they're not marrying the business. Just hop on and give it a try. Almost all of us, when we joined, was going to be a little temporary. And now look at us all. So you just <laughs> never know what's going to happen. Um yeah. Our team sales for July were 14297.01. So yay. Uh, and our August, my August sales goal, for some reason I thought I put 12,000, but okay, 10,000. Oh, um, I might yeah. have goofed. No, I might have too, because um, I thought I had submitted already to you, Kelly. I did this on like Monday morning and then I went back in to look at it and I was like, oh, I never finished it. <laughs> So yeah, that's kind of how my brain's been this past month. But yeah, so 10,000 for our August sales goal. Again, we have an amazing opportunity right now with that 25% off of those power tools. So um, I really think that we can get some parties booked and have a great month. Yeah, agreed. So, and since Brandy's not on, do you want to just do hers next? Mm, Sure. Yeah. Yeah, big shout out to Brandy's team. Um, they were falling short and Brandy and I were talking and I kind of gave a couple of challenges and she relayed that to her team and they rocked it. So way to go, you guys. Um, her top sales were Angie Hefty at 817.50, uh, Buffy Dorsey at 933 and yay, Domini again, coming in the big winner at 1747.50. So yay. Their team sales ended up at 5,460.20. Um, no recruits, but she is putting us a recruiting goal for two. Mm-hmm. Um, so 
I really think that you guys can do that. And then her August sales goal is going to be 6,000. Mm -hmm. So yep. yeah. Awesome. Yep. All right. So I'm going to do my team next year, my personal team. So um, my top sales for the month were Chrissy Fields at number three with six, 363.50. Brandy Holcomb with 1,868. And then Kathy Pingle with 6,726.86. She's doing phenomenal. And um, our team sales were 14,741.63. And Chastity, of course, like I said, was the recruiter of the month. And 13,000 is what I'm giving you guys for a sales goal for Team Rise and five recruits, which I'm hoping we can even do more than that. But I was trying to, I was trying to go with what the other girls were doing too. And I'm like, let's just put it at five. So that, that gave us a 15 for the org. So, all right. And then team extreme, um, Sue only has one active. She only really has a couple of people on her team right now. So she only had one active consultant last month, which was Sue Phillips at 295.87 and their team sales were 2,216.77. Um, so she didn't, she didn't make director numbers that month, but she, this month, but she put an August sales goal of 6,000 and recruiting goal of two. And, um, we are, um, Lori Reitz, um, unfortunately too dropped off as director. And so I'm, I'm, we're going to get it back when she's ready to roll here and we're, and she'll be back in the, she'll be back in the game again here. So we just, the, the big, the big message from Judy Joel, she always just reminds us is that recruiting fixes everything. So um, I'm hoping we've got a retreat for the directors coming up. See, I'm on my meeting, bud. Um, that's okay. Um, I, um, we've got a recruit, Paula Brockner is organizing a director retreat, but if she doesn't have enough directors coming, she's going to open it up to team members too. So I'm hoping, so just kind of in the back of your minds and Connie, this is something, you know, if she opens it up, if you wanted to come up for it, you certainly could, you know, anybody that's out of, out of town, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Go away. No, I'm, I'm on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Um, so it's, what did I say, girls? It was the 24th through the 26th, I think it was. Let me look at my calendar quick here. Uh, oh, no, September 24th through September 26th. So just mark it down. It's nothing official, but if it's something that we can open up, I will let you know every single time I've done a, rec or a, a retreat with Paula, amazing, like I mean, I come just home, just if Sarah's right, you know, shaking her head, like, uh-huh. It's like, she always gets the most amazing consult, you know, consultants come and do trainings and it's just, it's just phenomenal. So I'm hoping, I mean, obviously I would like her to have enough directors to come to, but selfishly, I would like her to not have enough so we can invite consultants too. And sometimes what she'll do too, is that she'll maybe open it like on Saturday only for, for consultants. And then like the directors are the whole weekend, but she might have it where the consultants are just for like a day. So just kind of jot that down, be thinking about it. Um, Cause if it opens, she, she should be able to let me know here and probably within like the next two weeks, what's the, what the scoop is. And then um, I mean, but just kind of have it in the back of your heads and jump on it if you can. Um, it's, the house that we use is amazing too. It's just super spacious. We have tons of room to spread out and it's just great. And everybody brings food to pet, you know, like, and we, um, Paula actually hires one of her friends and she does all the preparing of the food and stuff. So we don't really have to like lift a finger while we're there. It's pretty crazy, isn't it, Sarah? It's yeah. yeah. It's, I will say that it's, it's almost like a little mini comp like yeah. going to national conference because mm -hmm. you get, you get some of the top leaders there that are just amazing. They've done so well and they give you all their secrets. They tell you exactly what they're doing, how mm -hmm. they've done it. it. It, it's just, it's phenomenal. Mm -hmm. The amount of information that you get, it's just absolutely, I wasn't sure what to expect. And I was amazed. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So yeah. So mark it down. I can't guarantee anything, but I'm hoping that we can, you know, have some of our consultants join us there as well. Okay. All right. So let me see here. Let's go on to the next thing here. I'm going to do. Okay. So here's our amazing director team. So Huber had $1,804.90. Brandy Cox had 1,245.20. Sarah Cooter, Miss Rockstar, 9,653.79. And I had 4,739.80. So you guys are amazing. I'm super proud of you. So thank you guys for all of your hard work and your team's hard work. Okay, let's do our activity bonus winner. Let me see here. Okay, I got to get all my numbers here, or all my names. Can you guys still see my thing? Yep. Uh, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, got to get these names out. Let's put these new names in. Okay, here I'm going to pick a random name. So this is for a $10 gift card. And our winner is Kathy Pingle, well-deserved for sure. So I'm going to mark that down, Kathy Pingle. Yes, Kathy. Yes. And then, like I said, I will ask Chastity what she wants to do. Most of the time people leave things in the pot, but one of these days we got to get rid of the pot. So, so somebody can win it. So <laughs> be greedy is what I'm saying. Somebody needs to win it at some point. So, okay. So let me get back over here. So we got our activity bonus done. Okay. And I just want to remind you, of course, we've got success strategies every Saturday morning, starting at 8 a.m. And um, it's one of the time during the week that you have a contact with a director that you can um, ask questions and just learn about your biz and jump in on any week. Um, you don't have to do them necessarily in order. And if for some reason you can't attend those and you want to go through them, I do have them all recorded on YouTube videos. So let me know if you want those. Okay, so here's just a couple of dates that I've got. There's more dates I'm gonna be giving you, but I wanna make sure we kind of get through this stuff tonight because we've got a lot to talk about with the new season. So um, the Teach Me webinar for table is going to be um, on the 18th at 7 p.m. And let me look again, but I feel like it's again on the 25th, but I could be wrong about that. So it's at 7 p.m. So they wanted to make sure that it wasn't just during the day. They wanted to you know, bring it to everybody. So there's a consult, new consultant webinar. Oh, did I put, it's August 15th and the 29th, I believe. I goofed on that, sorry. Um, and then recipe night, I'd like to do a recipe night this, this month, um, but I might have to have somebody volunteer their house in the local area, which um, Jenny Bach is somebody that I know she, we've, she, I think she said, I think I did ask her and I think she said we could if we needed to. So she could, we could use her house. I just have no idea where my remodel is going to be at that time. And if my, my kitchen is going to be completely tore up and since the table um, I want to stay consistent with what our schedule is. And that's, you know, we always have that as like the um, second to the last um, Wednesday of the month is when we've been consistently doing recipe night. So I like to keep that consistent the next week anyway. Um, it's while well, it's our trip incentive. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that yet, but um, that's when we'll, we should be in the Bahamas. Um, Sarah for sure will be there. But um, that night, what I want recipe night to be more about this month, because we're going to be taking the table training. So like we can put it on, you know, like the big TV screen um, at my house or at Jenny's if we go there and watch it kind of like we did at Lori's house for national conference and watch it together. But what I want that night to be for recipes is I'm going to do a sign up sheet for different things in the new season's best cookbook to bring you know, so we can try all those new recipes. Um, and that is always such a telling time because you can say, okay, this one was, you know, really complicated and it would not make a great demo for a show. Or, you know, I would maybe add this to it because I didn't really like the flavor of it. So it's a really helpful 
thing to have a recipe night where we're making the new recipes. So watch for a sign up sheet for that. Um, I should have kind of a better idea like early next week on where, where I'm going to be at with construction. So um, otherwise we'll just, you know, otherwise we'll just do it here if it's not started by then. But um, so watch for a sign up sheet on that. And then I can't see, can you guys read my bottom of my screen? I can't see it right now. Oh, the team, team, meeting. Meeting. team meeting. Yep. On September 1st. Okay. So that'll be the next one. <laughs> Don't make this go away my god you're like four years old um so um okay let's see here so that is what I have for that stuff I'm gonna switch us over to home offices stuff can you guys see that now yeah okay all right so Good, we're doing good on time because this could this could possibly take a while. Okay, so who had a chance? Let me actually who had a chance to watch the most of the stuff on national conference? Who who wasn't signed up for it? I think everybody, everybody that's on here was. Joe, did were you able to get on most stuff? Um, yeah, I attended every class, every what? class that was available. I attended, and I have pages and pages of notes. I'm <laughs> very happy. It's so awesome. Well, and I just I cannot, I can't wait to go back to Chicago next year. <laughs> so I, know. I know. Oh, yeah. So you know, already they gave us the dates. You know that we know it's going to be July sixth through the ninth. I think it was. I don't have that right here in front of me. So you know, I know that's kind of a hard time because it's, you know, kind of some people take vacations that week and stuff like that. But I will tell you, it'll be well worth your time yeah. and your money. So, um, and it's. I have a feeling it's going to be like over the top, crazy, amazing because we didn't get one for two years. So I have a feeling it's they're just going to go gangbusters on it. So. Um, does, I was super impressed with this year because last year I watched it virtual, but this year it was so much better and smoother. It was so nice. It was. I mean, there was some bumps, like Friday was kind of bad with, um, um, the, um, I know Sarah had trouble, Lori had trouble, Sharon had trouble, like the, the, I think they just, I, don't, I think they always just underestimate like the power of how much broadband you're going to be pulling with that many people. Like, I don't understand. So, and the funny thing was, is the way that it sounded to me is like, they kept saying like, oh, it's your Wi-Fi," And it's like, no, everybody's is doing this. It's your connection or whatever. It's, it's the server that you guys are using. So, but um, the other thing is they said the replays would be fine, but the replays aren't. I have so, not. So, oh, the replays are like spotty and oh. yeah I was pretty disappointed with a couple of them that I, that from Saturday that we couldn't watch yeah. the whole thing well it's the same thing on the replay oh so, that's great yeah Jeremy were you gonna say something no okay um yeah so I overall content was good you know I loved the classes that I took all day on Thursday they were awesome so I'm just really happy and I just I this is probably one of the most exciting seasons that I've seen in a long time. There's just so much cool stuff happening right now. So I'm really excited. So does anybody like before we kind of start digging into this stuff, who does anybody have any like questions that they really need answered like right away, like that they're like stressed out about or don't understand or anything like that about things that are coming up in the new season. And if you don't have one right now, it's not, you know, you can just say it when we get to that point. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, then let's go ahead and get going on this. All right. All right. Let me collapse you guys down again here. All right. So, all right. So we've got Dash, we've got new fast track rewards. And then of course, we've got new consultant webinars. Um, so I can't read the bottom of the screen though. 
so terrible. It says um, new consultant webinars are August 12th and 26th. Okay. So I must not have changed those then. So the 12th and 26th. And if you're, a, um, that's the new consultant ones, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So then if you're a new consultant, which nobody on the call is in that category, but if you have somebody in the process of that you're recruiting and they join, they're going to get an email before it happens. And what they were telling us today on the nationwide leader calls too, is that those new consultant webinars are really important for those new consultants to be on because what they were saying is, is that it's walking them right through the resources that are available to them. So it is pretty important. Like I wasn't really sure, you know, they didn't have anything like that when I started. And I guess I haven't had anybody really tell me what they're about, but that's what, um, that's what they were telling us today is that that's what, you know, that's what they do on those is they walk them through all of those different resources. Um, and then they did tell us today too that, you know, Dash is all updated now, but they did want us to know that they are sending out a new series of um, like new recruiting emails for new consultants too. Um, there's a revised getting started program. So all that stuff that we have them do in the beginning before they meet with the recruiter to kind of talk over what their goals and stuff are, they've updated some things in there, but there still is the button where it'll basically say connect with your recruiter, then that's when they need to call. Um, and you need, you know, and if you're the recruiter and you need a director on with you, um, then we, you know, we'll help you with that. So then that's when we take over the calls. Um, they've added the most recent business tools and let me see here that all that, and then the resource the recruiting staff stays, stays the same. And the one thing that they wanted us to know too, because this seems to be a consensus for them asking is that the getting started course is probably going to take a new consultant about an hour's worth of training, but it's very important that they do it because they are not going to get table training unlocked until they're done with that. So I actually thought that was kind of brilliant that they're not going to get them to that until they do the steps leading up to it because they're not going to be ready for it if they do, don't do that. So if you're in the process of working with a potential recruit, you know, just kind of inform them that, hey, you know, there'll be a little bit of training that you're going to have to do to get started. And then you'll be able to jump right onto the other trainings. But that getting started training tab is going to be really important. So I wanted to make sure I mentioned that to you. And then fast track rewards, of course, all of that new info for fast track is going to be in dash two. There's a new um, flyer, like for them, like, like that little, um, kind of like your tracking sheet. I can't think of what it's called right off the top of my head right now, but it takes it through it. I think there's actually a picture of it on while we're doing it here. So um, so that's some of the new stuff we'll be talking about here. Okay, so what's new this season? So table, who is excited about table? You can scream, I'll let you. <laughs> right? No more having to deal with Facebook's stupidness. Right? right. It's gonna be awesome. So here are some important dates leading up for Table to premiere. Um, so Table is Pampered Chef's very own party site. It's basically our own virtual platform. And as far as we know, we are the only company in direct sales that has such a thing. So we are like leading innovation here right now, okay? So it's pretty awesome. Um, so here's what you need to get ready. So August 2nd, the DASH training obviously is available. So check it out. Connie said, you're not really getting that much yet in it right now though, but that makes sense to me, okay? They also too, what I just told you about that getting started, they actually advised all of us to go through it again ourselves just to get familiar with things. So I think that's probably take some time and try to do that, okay? Um, August 17th, all consultants will get access to table. So you have time to get in, get comfortable and start building your own outlines before it officially launches. 
You don't have to build your own outlines because there is going to be pre-outlines done for you, like they talked about at conference, but um, you might want to put in some of your own stuff, you know, your profile or your, like your story, all that stuff. And there's those certain things that you like to do in your Facebook parties. But one thing I'm kind of consistently hearing is don't get too hung up on what Facebook looked like. Okay, because it's not necessarily going to work the same in table. So don't get like yourself like wrapped up. So just kind of just think open mind. Okay, moving forward into this. Okay, August 18th and the 25th, you want to register. So it is the 25th. So I was right about that one. The 18th and the 25th, register and attend one of the Teach Me webinars. So make sure you do that. If you come to, if you're local, you come to Recipe Night, we'll have you covered because we're going to watch it there that night. Okay. I thought that would be good for us to do because then if we can kind of like question each other and stuff all then and there, okay? And then as of September 1st, you can start holding parties on table. So then I think some of you guys saw come through. I am going to have um, director, um, oh my gosh, my mind just completely, Janet Hathaway, she's, she's from over in the Milwaukee area. Um, she is going to lead a training on table. She's been in the pilot program and it's been working awesome. She's done all of her parties, her virtual parties on table, I think since October, I think is what it was. So she was the one that spoke at national conference. So we'll have her um, do a little training for us on Sunday night, the 15th at 7 p.m. Central time. Okay. And then I also have Laura Polito, who was one of the people that spoke at conference. Um, Laura Polito is from New York. She's an advanced director from New York. So she is on the 8th. So next, this coming Sunday at 7 p.m. Central Time, she's going to talk to us about how successful she's been with shared rewards and some tips and stuff on that. She's been just knocking things out of the park with shared rewards. So I thought that was just really important going into the new season to get some more info to you guys that way, okay? So mark those. Make sure you've got those marked down in your calendar too and don't miss out, especially since I'm inviting you know, some leaders to do these for us. I wanna make sure that we have good, a good turnout of people for them, okay? Okay, so then here's some other fall dates to know, guys. Um, obviously we knew the 26th and August 2nd was everything was gonna be updated. So August 17th, early access to table begins. So we'll have all of that. Mid to late off, um, August post-conference products will begin shipping. Those are for the general registration attendees only, which I think all of you that are on the call tonight are. I think we only had a couple people that registered later and just got the um, view only version. So then your boxes will come, which that was, um, oh gosh, now I have to see if I can find the picture of the things that we were getting in the conference box. Does anybody remember what they are at the top of our head while I'm looking? Um, it has got to be, I know one of them was a spring pan and one of them was that mixing bowl. Yes. I just, I, I can't I, remember the other where day. I, I swear I took a screenshot of it. I feel like it was one of the mixes or something yeah, too. Yeah. I think it might've been the. The caramel latte one. Yes, I think you are right. Of course, I can't find it. So anyway, we were getting some good stuff for that, though. It was. It's always. It's always well worth it for sure. Holly, I have it in front of me. It's thank the. You. It's the large muffin pan. Oh, it's thank the you. cheese knife. It's the oh caramel latte bread. Bread. It's that plastic blue and white mixing bowl. Okay. The turkey baster and the um, spring porn pan. Okay, awesome. So those six thank items. You, you. Yep, yep. So that's awesome. Okay, so that's what you're gonna get shipping mid to late August. And I'm sure, I know some of you, cause some of you have posted, some of your free for all boxes have come. So that's awesome. I'm excited to start playing with things. And I don't know if you guys saw, but I posted on the team page earlier today. Bilbo, do you need water? Jeez, puppy. <laughs> the 
conference boxes are coming. God, what was I just going to say? I just lost my train of thought as he's doing that. Um, your paperwork boxes should be in there too. You'll start getting those. Gosh, I felt like there was something I was going to say about that. Um, I can't think right. I lost my train of thought. Um, so September 1st, fall season begins and you can start selling from the new catalog. One of the things they wanted to make sure talking about like shared rewards and making sure of the guest specials, you know, we're guest specials always go by the date that their product was ordered. So it could be a September, you know, you could have a September, um, guest special, but it is an August party. But shared rewards parties, if any of you decide to hold one of those this month, it is called a hard close on August 31st. And the other thing that you need to remember is that for regular parties, anything that's on the discontinued list, it's gone as of the 31st. Like even if you submit the party, I, I actually, I take that back. That might not be that way. I think it goes by the date now though. I have to double check on that one, but they said for shared rewards party, no matter if you had it set to close that day or not, it will automatically submit that party on the 31st. So you just need to be aware of that. If you're going to run a shared rewards party, make sure that you're, you know, that you're aware of the dates that you've got it running because it will automatically close on you. Okay, so that one's just one thing to be um, be mindful of. And then table is available for parties September 1st. So eBiz Tools, that is like our website subscription and stuff, is now being changed to PC Digital Toolkit. Um, and there was, is a little bit of a price increase for that, but that is because of um, table that's kind of to help with the access to table. So that's what they had to do. It's still, I can't remember. I don't have it written down right in front of me. Um, it might be in my conference notes here, but it went up by a little bit. It wasn't horrible by any means though. Um, $15 monthly, $81 for six months and 144 for 12 months. So like what, $24 more a year. So I don't really think that that's that bad at all. So just for you to have that access for our digital platform. So, okay. So does everybody, anybody have any questions on that? I did. I think I read that if you have like the yearly subscription, that the new price will be with your new, with your renew date. It, is that oh. correct? Well, that might be. I just renewed yeah. in July. So yeah, I don't maybe correct. I don't have to pay for it the new. Okay. Yeah, that's correct, Sarah. Okay. I remember so then that. yeah. So then anybody, like if we have somebody that joins the business this month too, if they sign up and they do the yearly, they won't get those new charges, those updated ones for a year then. Right. Mm -hmm. That would be right then. Yeah. Okay. I just wanted yeah, to verify. That's the way that. I'm understanding it. But you know, they they get 90 days for free and then they have to pick which subscription they're oh, going to pick. That's right. So it might actually be, now that you say that, it probably isn't. It's probably at the 90 day date. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Okay. Um, that, yeah. So it would be at their 90 day date. Then that's what they have to decide. But you know, the thing is, is don't tell them like, I would just tell no. people what the cost is going to be. Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah, yeah I just tough. wasn't sure because I didn't want to give the wrong information to somebody this month. Yep. Um, <laughs> stop barking. Oh, Lord. <sighs> new, new house, new issues. <laughs> so, okay, then... September 6th or 17th, excuse me, is going to launch our new subscription add-ons on Marketplace opens for Facebook subscribers. And what we mean by Marketplace, we don't mean Facebook Marketplace because like I think people hear that word and then they're like wondering. So basically, if you have a subscription, you're going to be notified. I think it was, I believe it was 10 days before. Yep. That's that 10 days before, I believe it was. Um, 10 yeah. days before you'd have a 10 day 
here. Okay, shopping for add-ons, here it is. Plus you get free shipping 17th through the 27th of the month. So they have 10 days that there's going to be certain items that they can add on to their taste bud subscription. And it's free shipping on all that stuff. So this could be a really cool addition or, you know, it, in, you know, incentive for people to give a taste bud subscription a try. And you can, um, the um, add-ons are going to change monthly. So it's not going to be the same things available. Some things might stay the same, but it's going to be based on what um, kind of what's in the recipes that are going to be coming up. So you know what you need are the ones from the previous month, excuse me. So you know, like the tools that you're going to need to make them now. So it'll be like, say you needed the salad chopper for something. So that might be in the add-on marketplace. So I think that's kind of a cool thing. It might even be a little bit um, more intriguing to somebody to give taste buds a try is what I'm thinking. So we just need to make sure that we're marketing it well in our virtual parties. And we need to make sure if we're doing live cooking shows that we're talking about it at parties, you know, investing in, um, you know, having some enrichable sample packlets to hand out at shows. And I've even actually been keeping some of my taste buds, um, stuff and handing them as door prizes. If it's not one that I'm going to use or make at my house, I've been kind of just setting them aside and I put them in a Ziploc bag with the um, taste bud spice and the recipe card. So I did that and um, I did that a couple of my shows last month and they really, they liked that as their, their freebie. So just something to think about with that. Okay. All right. So what to do next is visit this resource, this season's resource guide dive into new training on Dash, and then get the new marketing imagery. So this is how our beautiful cover of our new fall winter catalog looks. I think it's pretty, nice and bright, but I think it's nice too, because it's got the pretty fall colors in it. So I think that's gonna be very appealing. And then let's get to some home office news. August story, back to everything. Routine can equal monotony we'll make sure back to everything doesn't mean back to mundane. This is the time Pampered Chef shines with products, recipes, and a community to make it all happen. You got this. All right, so three key areas for a successful August. So you want to be talking up all, everything cast iron this month, making recipes at home with it, taking pictures, doing live demos on your Facebook VIP groups and talking about cast iron. If you have any of the enamel, um, if you didn't um, get these in your samples or what you earned in free for all, um, go ahead and make sure you're starting to show them. I think these are going to be top sellers. We have been needing a roasting pan again for a very long time. So the fact that we have a pan to cook a turkey in again is incredible. So use that, you know, as an incentive this month, think about, you know, the holidays are coming up. Wouldn't you like a wonderful pan to cook a turkey in? And I know um, we were talking about this. I don't, I think they're tall enough size that you could probably put like a double sized cake mix in here is what I'm thinking, or like, or not a double sized cake mix, but like two cake mixes to make it like a really big cake. I'm thinking you could, or it would really work awesome as a lasagna pan. So, um, and think about how nice and easy cleanup would be for lasagna in there. So I think that's something, you know, talking about that, um, having taste buds as our um, freebie for the month, I think is very cool. And obviously we've got a lot going on in recruiting incentives this month. So we do want to think about our every four add one more theory, especially when it comes to our incentive um, our giveaways that we have coming up this month, you know, we get that double bonus entries. We'll talk about more of that in a minute, but we get double bonus entries when we have two recruits. So we want to really think about like doing four shows and adding a consultant, doing four shows and adding a consultant. So really just think about that's what I should be able to do. Every four shows I have, we should add, be able to add one consultant to the team. You know, and I always like to go back to Sharon Zellin's famous words of, there is a recruit at every single party you do. There is somebody out there that wants to do this business, but is there a recruiter? Is there somebody asking and seeking out people in the party? So don't forget about that. All right. Let's talk a little bit about bookings. 
So obviously the cast iron, we can book shared rewards. And what about this amazing offer of donating, not, not offer, but this donation that we're doing of 20,000 quick cookers to the Hope Lodge facilities. I think that's just amazing that we're doing that. So every party booked in August, what you need to be telling your potential bookings is that if you host a party this month, Pampered Chef is going to donate a quick cooker to the American Cancer Society's Hope Lodge plus one to a family that's staying there. And we're doing that up to 20,000 quick cookers. So I think that is amazing. Um, they're finally starting to open the Hope Lodges again for cancer patients. You know, the last year they've been um, housing frontline workers at the Hope Lodges. So now they're actually having the cancer patients come back in again. So they're going to need some hot meals when they're done with their treatments and stuff. Here, let me look here because I feel like I wrote something else down about that today. Let me see here. Um, okay. I thought I said something about that on here. Hold on just a second. Nope, that was all I had is it the I don't think it was like really cleared, clearly stated that it was going to be given to every patient that's staying at Hope Lodge. So, um, oh, so it's oh, a quick cooker donated to the lodge plus one to each. Yeah. So every patient can use them during their stay and take one home. Is that not incredible? Wow. Yeah. So we need to, we need to build that to people and tell them, do you know that you're helping and, or even do a fundraiser yourself so you can at least get one donated, you know what I mean? Or two donated, I should say, I mean, do a fundraiser yourself, if anything. So I think that's awesome. So don't forget about that this month too, because that is a really important, important component to August right now. Okay. Yeah. All right. Leftovers done right. This is a new party theme. It gives hosts and customers our best tips and tricks to turn leftovers into write overs. I know that they've been talking about that on the Paper Chef Facebook page. Um, that's been things that have been popping up for that. Um, and I would assume that there's probably going to be a table outline associated with that as well. I would, I would assume so. Okay. Selling. Obviously we have our small appliance sale. Another thing you want to think about is remember back to January when we had a small appliance sale and remember us selling 20,000 air fryers in a 10 day period, or was it 40,000, something crazy like that, where we ended up selling 60,000 and stole out of our stock. So make sure you're booking, you're trying to book in for the next couple of weeks, because who knows what's going to happen with any of these. They could sell out. God, I hope not, because I don't want to deal with that again, especially going into the new season, but it's a, something that potentially could happen. So just try to book in tight to the top of the month if you can. Okay. Anybody have any questions on that? Cause some of you might not, I'm trying to think, Dom, you weren't a consultant at that time. Sharon was right at the beginning of that. Anybody have any questions about that? So those are all listed as while supplies last. I will give everybody a tip cause that did affect me. Yes, it did. Um, okay. Make sure your host that are hosting for you, whatever they're thinking they may want, whether it's maybe they want one of each of them in their host cart, whatever, make sure they put it in their host cart. Because if it's not in their host cart and we sell out, they will not get one. So just have them put it in their host cart. And what happened last time is if it was in their cart, it was safe. Yeah. And did they have to have their payment in their cart too? I had people that did not have their payment in. They had just like, I do recommend that to all my hosts as part of my host coaching is that just because with COVID, 
anyways, yeah. I've always said, if you have things that you absolutely know that you are wanting to get, put them in your cart right away. Uh-huh. I have them connect to their host dashboard before the party even starts. They can put stuff in their cart. And the ones that listened to me that did that were fine. They were safe. Uh-huh. Yep. They were safe. The ones that did not, then they were mad. Uh-huh. So it was yeah. a nightmare. Yeah. So that's, you know, if you're not coaching that way, make sure that you're maybe implementing that into your coaching. So um, taste bud subscribers get two exclusive seasonings in August. So this was something that wasn't, so we're, there are two new seasonings. It's honey sriracha seasoning and garlic Parmesan seasoning. They haven't said anything to us. You know, sometimes we introduce like a winter product. Like remember how, like last year we had the cinnamon and the, the um, cinnamon plus and the, and the vanilla. So I, I don't know. We don't know. So like, you can't, like, they haven't given us info on that, that that's going to premiere like October 1st or something. So it could be, just be like an exclusive thing that they're trying out. Maybe they're going to try something like that all once in a while, or maybe it's going to come out in March. I don't know. So don't like, since we don't know, just like, if you have subscribers, just don't, we, we don't know. Just say it, it could be something that's coming in the catalog. It maybe not though. I don't know about that. So, but I think that's good. I think they both sound yummy. <laughs> so I'm kind of excited to try those. I hope the recipes look appealing to me. Um, the guest offer taste buds with a, um, they can get it with an $80 purchase. And so that's the three onion rub pouch and the seasoning salt pouch. I will tell you the three of onion rub and the um, onion burgers are to die for. They are to die for. And I think Sarah's made them several times too. Um, yep. they're super good. I have not done that pasta with vegetables though. With the seasoning salt. I like the seasoning salt though. So I'm sure it's really good. Um, so I think those will be fun for them to get with their free item. And you know, the thing is what you really want to be mindful of is make a list or, you know, pull a report of everybody that got a taste bud guest special in August and follow up with them like mid September, see what they thought, because maybe you can end up getting some subscriptions out of it. So it's something that you need to make sure that you're doing the follow up on with these. Okay. Cause they could be to p- potential subscriptions. You don't want to miss out on that. Okay. And then new, mer- new summer products. We still have those obviously available. I know I've been selling a ton of corn cob knobs. Um, and the rectangle cool and serve. I've sold tons of them. So um, spice, the spices I have sold some too, but probably not nearly as many as the other two. Um, so that's ways to increase your sales. So, you know, talk those up, you know, talk about even with the, um, like the, the rectangle cool and serve, obviously we're heading into the most, you know, the biggest, you know, dessert passing season between holidays and stuff and bringing a a dish to pass and stuff that rectangle cool and syrup will come in so handy for stuff like that so really push that um leading that you're going to need that for the holiday season okay so when you submit a thousand dollars in commissionable sales in august you're going to earn the pampered chef car shade set this set of two colorful car shades you can let everyone know that your pampered chef consultant has arrived um, somebody also had made the suggestion too, that then if you're like out at the store, stick a couple, um, mini catalogs, like underneath your windshield wipers. So people would have an opportunity to grab those too. So I thought that was kind of a cute idea. I think that looks like super fun. I don't know if, you know, I think it would be great if I don't have kids that need car shades anymore, but <laughs> sometimes it's nice when you're riding in the back seat to have a shade like that. So. All right, recruiting. Okay, so here, here's a picture of the new um, Fast Tracks flyer. So starting, you know, this new Fast Track program and new kits started July 26th. We have already in the last seven, eight days, we have already added over a thousand new consultants to Pampered Chef. And we still have four full weeks in, in August. So this is, you know, we're just getting started. Um, 
Consultants are now going to earn the whipped cream maker in the mini skin scraper with $500 in commissionable sales. So no longer the ceramic egg cooker. And then through November 30th, new consultants can earn double cash rewards for recruiting in their first 30 days. So only if they recruit in their first 30 days. So you're gonna wanna be mindful of their 30 day date, their 90 day date. That's another thing that they said on the call today that they're going to get an email that those new marketing e or those new emails for a new consultant. It's very clear what their 30 day and 90 day date are in those. So no more like searching. They should, it should be very upfront and center in their email on what their dates are. So we won't have to be trying to figure it out all the time. So, so make sure when you're talking about that with potential recruits, they have to recruit in their first 30 days to be eligible for the double cash rewards. Um, so check out that new updated fast track rewards tracker that will be listed, I believe in dash and the double cash rewards in your first 30 days from July 26th through November 30th. If you recruit in your first 90 days, you'll get hundred dollars for every new consultant. I can't read the rest of it now. Sorry, my screen. Can you guys, can somebody else read the rest at the bottom? New consultant, you, you recruit by, or by your 30 day milestone. Your new recruit must qualify by submitting 1215 commissionable sales in their first 90 days. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. So yeah, so this kind of thing is one of those things like I, I'm a, like a visual person. So like I would have had, if they would have had fast tracks when I started, I would have had this printed and had it on my fridge and making sure I was crossing off each time I reached a level. So, you know, in, encourage people to do stuff like that. So they get excited about what they're earning. Okay. So there's a brand new opportunity brochure that's going to be available under supplies. So I think that looks really pretty. Um, I like the looks of that. It's a great thing to stick in your host packets or to just have on hand with you in your purse in case you're out and about and you see somebody. I've used stuff like that several times over the years to have that, you know, have that stuff available on hand and in your purse or in your car at least, okay? All right, updating the new starter kit or the consultant kit. So the starter kit includes the everyday rock crock. And one thing I do love is that it's got an enrichable in everything. I think that's super cool. Um, then the deluxe kit includes everything that's in the starter kit, plus the rock crock everyday pan is upgraded to the Dutch oven. So I think that's super cool. So they're not going to get the rock crock everyday pan and the Dutch oven. It's going to be once it bumps to the deluxe kit, you get it as the Dutch oven. So I think that's super cool. And then the ultimate kit includes everything in the deluxe kit and even more great tools, plus choose from one of the three small appliance bundles. So the air fryer, the deg, or the blender. So not the quick cooker. That still makes me think that something's going to be going on with the quick cooker. With the quick cooker. <laughs> it's one of those things. So then if they qualify in their first 30 days, they're going to get a kit rebate for the entire cost of the kit. So not just half of it, the entire cost of the kit. So I'm super excited about that. And that's something you should be talking about left and right on your VIP pages and on your personal pages and Instagram and all that fun stuff. Put that out there, make sure people are aware of what's going on. Um, do a poll, do, you know, different ways to get people inspired to, you know, answer um, answer your, you know, like put a question out there, um, ask people, you know, put a poll on there on who wants the air fryer, who wants the deg, who wants the blender, you know, and explain to them that they could get it as a host this month, plus, or I'm sorry, as um, get it the kit, plus they can host their own party, get paid for it, and then turn around and get their, you know, the cost of their kit back for free. I mean, it's just, it's amazing the, the things that are available this month that way. Okay, so let listen to, what time is it? It's already five after eight. I'm gonna have you guys listen to it 
Katie talked on our nationwide leader call today. So you guys know how to access this through the monthly focus. Do you guys all know how to do that? So if you click on monthly focus, you can click on Katie's video and watch it. So let's just, let me have you guys watch it, but I really want to encourage you to watch it because she talked today and she, her, her talk today was so inspirational. Um, I just loved everything she had to say. Um, she wanted everybody to think about like how much you need to like, whoops, Sharon got bumped out. Let me let her back in. Um, she wanted everybody to think about how you need to make a big goal for yourself so that you know that you can make a difference in someone's life, that this job just isn't about selling cooking tools. It's, it can be life-changing. Um, so kind of ref like refuel yourself and really think about why are you doing your job? Um, what, you know, why do you want to add to your team? You know, think about the things that you need from it. Think about the stories that you've heard about other people. Think about some of the cool stories that you probably heard at national conference about why people started. You know, I always think about Sarah, even Sarah, you know, when she started, she was only going to do this for, till Logan was done with school and she was only doing one show a month and she was never going to be a director and then you know look at her and then I think about what happened to her last year you know Sarah got laid off from her job that she had for 26 years 27 years and she had to really push herself and you know even though it was a pain in the ass she filed for unemployment and did her <laughs> figured out how much she was making a week with I mean it was a pain in the butt but then you know, they started back to work and Sarah had this amazing virtual business going and then her boss died and she would have lost her job anyway. And she had another job to fill that already. So to me, that's like, wow, like you just never know what's going to happen in life. So, I mean, I think Sarah's incredibly thankful that she's pushed through some of the times, you know, so she's, she's one that it's, it's like an awesome story to me. Um, my, my, you know, me, myself, I don't know where I'd be today if I wouldn't have had this business when everything happened in my life, you know? So you just never know what something like this can do for somebody. So don't ever not ask because you're scared because you could be taking away something from somebody else. That's, and that's not fair. You know, that's not, think about it like that. Um, so make sure that you're walking the walk. Um, shift, just shift your mindset. So think about the big ask screenshot things, send them to your director, we'll walk you through what to say if you're not sure how to answer things. Make sure that you're tracking every single person that you're contacting or track who like your leads are. So whatever, we're having an amazing recruiting promotion, you can go back and reach out to those people. You know, you don't want to talk to them and then not, they don't want to, you know, not hear from them for two years. Um, Let me see here. I want to see what else she had. She had some super cool things. She said, simplify things too. Make a list. This is, this is important. Write this down. Make a list. Who would be fantastic as a consultant? Anybody. Like just make a list of anybody you think would be fantastic as a consultant. Ask yourself then too, why would they be good for your team? It might be something as simple as she's got a bubbly personality or she is a great conversationalist or she's just an amazing cook, you know, anything. So why would they be good for your team? So think about those two things. You know, it's, it, it's basically the same thing as what I always tell you guys is, why would they be good for Pamper Chuff and why is Pamper Chuff good for them? You know, think about those two questions. But then what you want to do is pick like a person and then think about all of those things that you want to say about them. And then it's like you're braiding that person up and then like, think about like, just do it. Just go ahead and give them a, give them a message, give them a call and just try it. Just ask. You don't know what's going to happen. That's when you really learn that you're not making it about you, that you're making it about them. And that's what the biggest thing that we have to get over in this business is you have to stop making it about yourself and making it about the person 
that has interest in the business or that you think would be really good about at this job. You have to take the you out of it. And then that's when things really start to click. So make sure that you're creating intention and then be actionable about it. Okay. So those were the couple of things that I like, I really got from her when she talked to us today. So go back and just watch her talk. She was pretty awesome. So yeah, just go on um, the monthly focus and you can watch her video. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Let me collapse you guys again here. Yeah. Oh, Kelly, yeah. the video was also in the, the stir email. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep, in stir too. Yes, thank you. So if you can't, if you don't. Stir email, we got, yeah. Yep. Thank you. All right. So here are some great offers that are going to happen to you this month when you recruit. So your first August recruiter offer is when you recruit one consultant between July 26th and August 31st and your new consultant qualifies you'll earn a Pampered Chef lawn chair. Want a set of two, recruit and qualify for new consultants. So that is a huge incentive to make sure that you're getting your new consultants qualified because it's one thing to recruit them, but then you need them qualified. And what else happens when you qualify a recruit? Three points. 3,000 trip points for each qualified recruit. That is huge. That can make or break a trip very easily, okay? And always be checking your trip cal calculator and see where you're at. Then number two, the great recruiting gift giveaway. So for every new consultant you recruit July 26th through October 31st, you're gonna be entered into win one of 41 phenomenal prizes. So learn more about that on Consultants Corner. There's a lot more. Um, a lot more for that. And that's where I believe if you recruit two, you get like an extra entry. I think that's, that's where I think it is too. So I'd have to go back and read it, but there was something about, cause there's a tracker for it as well, for how many people that you um, recruit. There's like a tracker board. If you look under marketing imagery that you can print off and track it. So that was too, what she was talking about with just making sure that you're tracking. Um, there's also the Meet Pampered Chef webinars this month. So August 5th and August 19th, August 5th is at noon. August 19th is at 7 PM. Um, I need to try to figure it out, but I would like to do something on our How I Pampered Chef page this month. We need to do something live on there. We've been really bad about using that page and we need to get back on track with that. So, um, Sarah, don't let me forget to talk about that, okay? We gotta, we gotta work on that. Um, okay, save the dates for national conference, July 6th through the 9th at the Wind Trust Arena. So this is going to be the first time we've ever had it at the Wind Trust Arena. We always used um, Rosemont and um, the big McCormick place. And so this is gonna be a brand new facility. Um, we will start looking at Airbnbs and see if we can make something work in less we decide to stay next summer at the hotels that they, you know, they save for us. But I think it might be, might be kind of fun to try to do an Airbnb too. So we'll see about that. Um, September offers at a glance. September's guest special is mini mix and scraper and a skinny scraper. One when you spend $80 for September. And then September host offer is 60% off anything in the catalog including the new products. So that is awesome. The Flex Plus, hopefully we'll get a lot of those off the shelves. And um, I mean, I think that new cast iron stuff is amazing too. I love that new saute and like steam pan. That's going to be super cool. There's just so many amazing things. Um, so I have the skills and support I need to achieve my goals. I will personally book this many parties. I will submit at least this much in personal sales and I will invite this many people to join my team. So think about that, take a picture and you know write your goals down and put them on the team page. And um, that is something whenever you write down your goals, you're 42% more likely to achieve them when they're in a written format. Write them down, say them out loud as a positive affirmation to yourself every day. 
it, it'll be something that each your mind is totally thinking about it. Um, it. Just that's one of those things that you need to be doing. So that's all I have that's actually from like the home office part of it. Um, that's from the slides. So who has, who has questions about anything, about the kits, about the new fast track, about the sales or the recruiting promos? Who, does anybody have questions? Because there's a lot of info. I wanted to stop, hold on here. One thing we wanted, there was one other thing on here too that just remember that due to like global transport and shipping challenges that are still a little bit out of control, that there's potentially one or two other small new products earned in free for all that may ship separately because of, of that stuff. So I know that they did say, I think it was the spring form pan, was it that was gonna be later? They did tell us one, I think it was that one. Does anybody the remember? Pie. The what? Oh yeah. The hand. Oh, pie. the hand pie, that's what it was. Yep, that was, that it was, that's what it was, was the hand pie, thank you. Okay. Anybody else have any questions? You're gonna see some product, product pricing increases in the catalog. There's no more than $5. The most notable changes are the deluxe air fryer and the indoor outdoor portable grill. Both will increase by $10, okay? But both are available as great discounts for hosts, obviously, because they're, um, 60% off next month. You can pick anything in the catalog. Plus two, like right now, the Deluxe Air Fryer is on special. So if you want it, if they really want it, tell them to get it now. <laughs> um, but then if you also do a shared rewards party, they could you know, have the potential of getting a 25% off on their shared rewards party too. Yeah. Okay. Anybody? Trying to see if there's anything else that I'm missing here. They're really seeing, in which they'll talk about this, I'm sure, on the table teach me thing. Um, the one thing that they're seeing, though, is do your first three to five table parties as close together as you can. You want to do enough to gain experience and confidence, just like new consultants doing their first few parties. So they're really encouraging you to book them and do them all at once like that. And I'm just going to tell you, too you are going to have people that will not want to do table. You are. So you might still be doing some Facebook parties. You know, the one thing, and I'm sure that they're going to talk about that on some of our trainings is they're going to explain to you why you need to encourage your hosts to do it this way. You know what I mean? Because then you're not going to be getting locked out of inviting and, you know, all that different stuff. Um, so they're, they're, I'm sure they're going to give us some words to use, but you are going to have people, you know, you're going to have people that just, that, you know, I mean, you have people already that don't want to do Facebook parties. You know what I mean? It's, so you're going to have that. You're going to have that. So I wouldn't like, if you are a sent share user, I wouldn't like cancel your account or anything yet. The one thing you can do in sent share is you can freeze your account. So you only get charged. It's like $1 or $2 a month. Like if you're finding yourself in the next couple of months, just not really using it, you can freeze your account. I did do that a couple of years ago when like virtuals were kind of in this weird spot and um, we were kind of stopping doing as many of them. I just froze it. So then everything I, when I went back to using it again, all my content was still there and I can pull from, I could pull from my history. So I don't want to lose all that if I don't have to. So, but I wouldn't be going and canceling your sent share account yet. Just get familiar with things, stuff like that. So has anybody asked somebody to do a table party yet? Not yet? Okay. I have a couple people in mind. So that's another thing. Maybe make yourself, who can I use as a guinea pig? <laughs> that would be a good, you know, do, do an incentive. I'll give you a free, 
you know, new product. You could give them a brownie mix or a caramel latte bread mix or cook chip, chocolate chip cookie mix. I've never seen Lori so excited in my life. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> it's gluten free. <laughs> Did you make it yet? Oh, so exciting. <laughs> Did you get it? <laughs> I'm going to make the brownies um, next week. I'm going to have Luca up at the other house. So oh, yay. Uh, going to make brownies together. Yay. yay. That's exciting. Larry's excited too. Cool. Yeah. Cause I mean, that's the thing is I hope they taste good. If they, if they're like um, the cookies, at least that baking mix that we had a few years back, that was good stuff like I actually liked making cookies with it it was really good so I'm hoping that they're like equivalent to that you know maybe it's the same kind of mix you know what I mean that's the flour stuff that's in there hopefully that's the case that would be good so anybody anybody are you guys good okay because we could probably talk for hours and let me just make sure that there was no Anything else? Oh, the ret retired products list is out there. I was sad about like two things. What was it now? My mind, it was, mustn't have been that, not, that sad because now I can't remember. There was a couple I was kind of sad about though. Um, the new emails. Yeah. We submitted 7,000 shared rewards party last month with that challenge. 4,800 was the highest we'd ever done and that was last February. So I thought that was pretty, that was pretty cool. Oh, um, Erica Henderson, our field manager, she is leaving as of Friday. She has to take a medical just to leave because it was something going on with her health that she had to, so they, they hired two new people to replace her. So Jana and a Jennifer. So we'll have, you'll see two new faces too. That was another one. All right. All right. I think that was, I think that was all the notes that I had from that too. But yeah, if you can go through and take that new consultant course again yourself that are getting started, go through that. I'm thinking, I'm thinking we'll all have access to table though. It's just new people that you have to go through that to, in order to access table. So that's just going to be one of those things that we really want to make sure, especially if we end up recruiting quite a few new people this month, we want to make sure we get them going. Cause I don't want anybody to be lagging <laughs> on that. If we can start with, with that right away. I mean, cause that's awesome. Cause we don't have to have them sign up for cent share and learn how to use that. And so, I mean, yeah, you still have to learn to use table, but all of the info will be right there for you. So, okay. Everybody good? Okay. Thank you guys very much. I will see you next time. I will figure out, I will let you guys know ASAP about um, recipe night as soon as I can, and then we'll figure it out. Okay. All right. See you guys later.